paid a penny since hooking up with you. Avery, it doesn't happen that quickly. It takes time. I signed a contract. This was my bonus. How very 1950s of him. Gives you a car instead of a six-figure advance. You shouldn't have talked to him without me. My job is to represent you and to protect your interests. No, your job is to work for me. And I want to work with Omnic. So you can either get on board or get out of our way. who's willing to do anything to make it and here to perform Twist to Barbed Wire, please welcome Jonathan Jackson. here I have to say you know Jonathan first of all your fans loved you on General Hospital growing up there that role by the way won you five daytime Emmy Awards and they know that and they were really sad right there you are through the steps yes. of life yes. they were so sad when you decided to leave but they are happy to find you in Nashville Thank so you. happy I'm to happy find you in Nashville, in Nashville. <laughs> I didn't realize this but this is a long time dream of yours kind of come true right absolutely you know, I've been playing music and writing since I was probably 12 years old, and um, I, I, this is a true story. About four years ago, I was sitting in a little cafe, just kind of journaling, and, and I was writing down a list of producers I'd love to work with, and T-Bone Burnett was at the top uh, yeah. of the list. Yeah. And Why wouldn't he be? He's right. For some yeah. amazing yeah. reason, I'm here, so yeah. uh, dreams do come true. Any chance of uh, you and Scarlett getting back together? Uh, Sorry about it. I just got, I've got to know. Yeah. Know, know. You know. Yeah, you know, I mean, one of the great things uh, about, you know, Callie Curry's writing is, is she, she's created characters with, with so many layers and complexities. And one of the things I love about playing Avery is that, you know, he's made a lot of stupid choices, but he, he's also shown uh, some unselfishness at times. And so I think that's in him. And if it is in him and, and if it's strong enough, then I think he, he can have a shot. I think the band will take Avery back at some point or 
what? I don't know. That might be a more difficult. <laughs> you know, a lot of people associate Nashville with country music, but there's a really thriving alt rock scene there, and it's given yeah. birth to bands like the Black Keys and yeah. Kings of Leon and stuff. Have you had a chance to really dig into that alt scene? Because your character really plays sort of the not mainstream country artist. Yeah, well, you know, at, at, the, at the beginning, T-Bone sat me down and played me some music and yeah. kind of said, this is kind of the feeling, I think, where Avery's musical history would come from. And it really is that kind of East Nashville uh, Americana. I mean, it just crosses genres, mm -hmm. and, and that is happening in Nashville. And one of the cool sure. things about this show is we're getting to show the rest of the world what's yeah. happening It's such in a that great city. city. Yeah. I mean, Connie and I were just talking about how the variety of artists is so highlighted here, and yeah. so we'd lo we love Avery. We love you your know, character, Jonathan. <laughs> we do. Cast of Nashville, guess what? They're going to join Jonathan when we come back.